What is going on guys? Welcome back to Man Like Ricky. And finally, it is the reveal of my Evolution 6 RS. Some of you see the post on Instagram probably about a month ago now. This is how long I am. You know what it is? The spec on this is actually pretty insane. Uh, I'll probably have to get my phone out for this one, but we're gonna do a walk around. Some of you thought I bought it for LLF Games. In fact, I bought it for myself. Originally, I was looking at it for LLF Games, but you know what, the car's so bad, and I'm gonna say it right now, that is the baddest car that I've ever bought. I do not care. So guys, as I say, walk around, and then we'll do like a little exhaust rev, and you have to wait for the first drive. So yeah, man, let's get into it. Can't slow me down like speed hump. No. Keep up when I speed up. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life. Before we do get into it, this week's competition is a Mitsubishi Evolution 8 FQ340, running around 400 horsepower. Someone will be winning it this Sunday for 199. Head over to the website, ticking link in the description. Serious car, that. Serious, Serious car. Come on, mate. Mishimoto bits, rally art seats, rally art short shifter, close ratio gearbox. Up Rated intercooler, active your control, delete, new A45s, RS3s. That's a bit of an old timer now. What's that? 16, 17 years old. It would wipe the floor out of all of them. Serious cars. There you go, lads. There At you go. 199. 199, mate. So, I mean, come on, guys, take a look at this car. Is this not the most insane Evo 6 that you've seen? For me, that is like, that's the baddest Evo I've ever seen, like, which is why I had to buy it. Now, I did say that I was originally looking at this for LLF games. Reason we didn't go ahead and buy it is because it was a lot of money. Like we've not spent this kind of money on a jack car. It was actually originally up for 35 grand. I did get it a little bit cheaper. So this is an RS, the Rally Sport version. You've got the GSRs, which are the more daily drivable versions. You've got the Tommy Mackinans, you've got the RS2s, the Extremes, probably a few other versions that I'm not aware of, but this is the Rally Sport. This is basically the version that Mitsubishi built for race teams. The idea was race teams would buy this version, throw all the crap away, install their racing parts and go racing with it. So forget the look on this car because this has got a crazy virus body kit. It's got front bumper, front wings that have been changed, but the stock RSs, same engine, two litre turbocharged, four cylinder engine, 276 horsepower, 275 foot pounds. This has got the five speed close ratio gearbox. It came with no electronics, no audio, no air conditioning, no ABS. Steering rack was a little bit quicker. Car was also lighter, obviously because it didn't come with the creature comforts you got no central lock-in the mirrors came black obviously these are aftermarket alloys they came with steely alloys but there are so many things that are really cool about the rs which i love and why i had to buy one myself so i didn't even know i was going to buy another one just looking at it now i've just had it cleaned i just think that's just the best looking thing like obviously there's going to be a lot of purists that are going to not like this car because of the, the the wings and the front bumper but you know i'm not a massive jack guy but i think that that just bro like that just looks sick it don't look cheesy but i totally get why the purists would be pissed off because it'd be like grabbing for any Beamer guys, it'd be like a CSL M3 like, and then sort of modifying it. It's like, what are you doing? So this is, as I say, it's an RS, it's a special car. There was under a thousand of these ever created, all finished in white, Scottier white, I think is what it's called. And you can see the condition is like, I'm not gonna say new, but it's very, very clean. Like my old RS, had 21,000 miles on the clock. This one's got a 55 and it is way cleaner. But let's move on to what's special about this RS. So firstly, you'll notice this crazy front bumper. For anyone that's played Gran Turismo, come on, bro. Is that not like the Escudo Pikes Peak? Come on, that is crazy. Look how far out the front bumper comes. You've got the front splitter. So this is all genuine virus parts yeah so virus front bumper front splitter it's actually an under tray as well it goes underneath the bumper we've also got the virus wings check out how wide and squared off these arches are they're, they're like two-piece wings so you've got this carbon strip here and it's bolted in solid it don't feel cheap we've got these vents as well on the inside of the wings we've got the carbon air ducts which feed cold air to the coolers we've got a second cooler set up with a fan and also a switch inside the cabin we've got upgraded intercooler we've got black mirror caps this is a trait of the rs stock side skirts we've got the stock wings and they come around to the rear we've got the stock spoiler which is adjustable you can see we've got these little allen key things here down here you can see we've got this k's autos rear bumper it just makes the car look completely different it doesn't look like a normal evo 6 it looks so aggressive we've got titanium exhaust this didn't come black as well this was the previous uk owner he imported it from japan he's owned it for two years his name's danny top top guy but he had this painted black i'm sitting there debating whether to paint it back white 
but um, when you're following this car it looks very very aggressive so uh, some other differences you may notice we've got the nk alloys if that's how you even pronounce it uh, they are the pfo1s they're 18 inches uh, we've got 265 35 semi-slick tires all round it is a square setup these are lightweight alloys and you'll see behind there we've got the hks big brake kit oh gas pro we've got hks brakes man like this is all shit that i used to hear in games like we've got a big brake kit a six pot up front four pot on the rear they're two-piece discs and their braking performance is awesome we also have tn suspension they're electronic dampers we've got controllers from inside the cabin so you can stiffen and soften up each corner we've also got custom springs fitted we've got tubular rose joint in front arms we've got k sport rear adjustable arms so interior wise guys you can see it's in absolutely stunning condition uh, only 55,000 miles on the floor as i say it was imported two years ago the previous owner he absolutely loved this car didn't even want to sell it but um, you can see down here, we have the two controllers for the TN suspension. As I say, they're electronic. You press these buttons here to soften and stiffen it. You've got three programmable modes as well. These are stock RS cloth seats. Usually you just throw them away and throw in one of these Recaro. I think this is a pole precision bucket seat. This is not adjustable, which is quite annoying. I need to sort of get that sorted. We've got the five-speed close ratio gearbox with a beat rush short shifter. So this, honestly, guys, I can't even express you how perfect this car is. We've also got HK boost controller we've got this little box here i don't know what that is i'm not sure if it connects to the internet we've got the nardi torino steering wheel which looks brand spanking new and as i say guys if you look down here there's no audio there's no air conditioning look the windows are manual everything's about lightweight with the rally sport you'll notice we've got a half cage as well i'm not sure if half cage was meant to come around to the front but obviously we haven't got it up here it's all around the rear other upgrades we've got ross sport linkage wedge we've got solid shifter bushes solid diff mounts we've also got a costco front diff uh, which is very noisy you'll hear it on the first drive video uh, we have to sacrifice for performance of course we've got twin plate clutch and uh, as i say we've got the tn controllers back here so yeah quickly show you inside the boot you notice it does come with a private registration rs evo which is pretty sick i had an e6 llf on my last one even the boot guys it's so light everything is lightweight even when you look into the boot there's absolutely nothing in it it's completely gutted out there's no spare wheel there's no carpet nothing we've got three piece strut brace i don't think my previous evo was set up like this but my god guys this car is so stiff we've got a sard swell pot because this car is set up for track the previous owner in japan you should track the hell out of this i'm sure it's gonna have a baffled something but i will take it in to get service and looked at pretty soon also you see on top of the suspension you've got these black boxes this is what enabled you to control them from inside the cabin so yeah i'm going to show you under the bonnet got these quick release clips and uh, I just want to say for the record, guys, there were so many Evos online that I could have bought with like 600 brakes, 700 brakes. This car we estimate to be around 350, 400. I don't think it's been on a dyno. I've done the big power thing now. I want a car that I can trash on track. Don't need to worry about heat. Engine bay wise, you can see we've got a race tech manifold. You can see the rocker covers nice and clean. The, the whole engine bay is just in really good condition. We've got front strut brace. We've got this HKS box here, which must be for the boost controller. As I already said, it's 55,000 miles on the clock. We've got lightweight battery, upgraded intercooler with piping. We've got the beat rush air box with a mushroom air filter so this is the same company as the short shifter just feels solid like we also have an evolution 9 turbocharger it is very quick spooling the car is very fast and of course you know these are around the 11 1200 kilos this bonnet i don't know if i said but it just feels lighter than my previous bonnet and i don't know why it's almost like this vent here has been capped off you can see we've got this plastic thing here don't know what the reason i'm sure someone can chime in and let me know yeah that's it really if there's anything missed i'll obviously go over it in the first drive video but that's my evolution 6 rs i haven't bought this with the intentions to give it away i know like i've seen the comments like yeah man can't wait for it i'm not planning to give this away not as of now anyway so guys i'm gonna end the video there as always if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new and of course we're gonna go for the first drive i'm gonna smoke this car i'm gonna show you what this car's like bro this car is no joke you're not looking at a normal evo right now trust me i will be tailing it and of course if there's anything i've missed i'll make sure to go over it in the first drive have a look at this car man is it just me is it me people like bro i've pulled up to my dad in this car and even my dad approves of this shit he's not an easy person to please but my dad's come out he's like what this is a car that i'm driving i'm looking but i'm trying to see if people are clocking me like bro this is the car man so um yeah till next time people can't slow me down like speed hum no keep up when i speed up see your future that's
that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life fast. See a girl, she's in my car. Mm. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel, that's five stars. Yeah. Make the rules yeah. disappear.